Hey guys, how's it going? It's 4.15 p.m. Uh, I'm not even sure what the date is because I got my screen. There we go. 21st. Okay. 21st of January. See, I don't even know what date it is anymore. Um, wanted to show a really, hopefully, quick tutorial. I'm going to make this fairly quick on uh, uh, what we do on the min side as far as tagging uh, multiple uh, cars in San Bernardino. Uh, I've had videos before where I show you how to replace these uh, bare tables with new um, new loads or new tags. Generally, I try to recycle what comes in to San Bernardino, for example. Uh, when a train comes in, we have uh, basically instruction uh, to use the engines facilities to, to basically unload the entire uh, consist. Now these are all unloaded except of course it doesn't show it in uh, run eight because uh, these are two different uh, uh, pieces. You've got the you got the loaded uh, uh, the loaded cars and you have the unloaded cars uh, which are totally different cars so you have to replace them like I've shown in a previous video. Uh, this video here I'm just going to show you quickly how we tag uh, in our system. Um, so I'm looking at right now Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we've got calls coming up for 30s coming out of uh, 30 uh, Z, Z types, which are our COFC and 14 of the uh, uh, TOFCs. And uh, so we get 30 here. I'm just looking at, I've already kind of taken a look at this right now. So you can look at that. There's 22 empties. Uh, the good thing about that is on the same track, we also have some. TOFC at the end so I figure get this track out of the way first so what we do and this is where the real trick lies uh, I don't know if everybody's aware of this one or not um, but I'll show you this anyways and I think I thought I had a video on this before but anyways what you want to start doing um, before you, you actually go in is like click one one of the cars and the key is to have a tag field that's not too big. I know some of our tags are starting to get a little bigger, um, but the if it fits within here, the more it fits within here, the easier it is to do it. Like especially a three character one like this. So we want WSP is what we're tagging. Now you take WSP and then you hold Shift and your left key three times. Control C to copy, and now that's copied into your operating system. So, you can hit F12 to go down to the bottom. Actually, no, stay up. It's easier sometimes. Sometimes it's easier to see this in the dark, too, as well. So, we've already started with this first one. but So, to get moving, you want to hit the W key to start moving, just like you normally would. The trick is, you hit the W key, and what I'm going to do, I'm going uh, back here for a second, but you hit the W key to move forward, and the trick is, while you're holding the W key, actually click onto the car and I'll show you what I mean so we hit W to start going click on the car now I've, I've released the W key okay so it's still moving which is perfect because we want to do this as quick as we can you don't want to go any fast you want to do shift W so random loads and then you click onto another car control V to paste random load and if you're really good and you're just using the mouse you got to be somewhat quick, and if you have to stop, you stop. It's no big deal. But Control V, random. As you can see, they're loading up. Sometimes, like I said, it's better to see this in the dark. If you don't like the time that's on the server, you can always adjust it to yourself, and I can make this dark by just freezing the time before you adjust it. So you don't have to always go by the server's uh, clock if you so wish to run in the dark or run in the daylight that's another little trick you can do but uh, as you can see everything's loading here nicely it's very quick it's about the quickest uh, I've found to be able to do this uh, there's other ways you can you know you can m m mess around with the, the TMU but you have to be offline to do it and uh, this one I'm online my online my uh, I'm on my server right now so there's really nothing to it and it just you're still continuously moving 
I mean, this is great for the intermodal yards. I believe there's uh, in version two, if I'm not mistaken, there might be some more intermodal facilities. Of course, we have the ones, did I hit random? Oh yeah, that was not as big. So I generally like to use random for my loads for uh, containers anyways. That one just didn't show up as big because it wasn't as much, so. And... Okay, so now we have 22 loads of that, and what do we want? We got 22 of the 30. Um, you can put a note in here, just that you've done the 22, just for reference, but... Uh, that's all temporary anyways. Now we want 14 of the uh, the other ones over here. So you got to relinquish that. As you can see, you got 22 loads. So that's a good start. Go down here. And then see now I'm doing the shift W, but again, you've already you've already got the thing uh, set up. So just go blue. Now we're doing everything but two of them in this one. It's uh, the system's calling for us. So and just random. And that's just the, uh, as it's loading, the, the refrigerated uh, trailers are making some noise there. But the cool thing about this is uh, I, I like reusing the actual containers that are coming in. Uh, I wish it was like the other car types, where it actually would go to a bare table or go to a... A trailer would be it would be kind of cool to see it empty uh, so I like it with the new ones I, I wish that they would do that with these as well but uh, maybe down the road they'll do that make it a lot easier because then you can actually uh, uh, get new containers the only problem the only problem with that is the empty car type will always be the same container if that's what you want but I wouldn't mind seeing different containers come in too but perhaps down the road so I think there's just two empties left now. I think that's good. It says, it says 14 and 2. Yep. Okay. So, relinquish that. And you're looking at this now. 14. So we've got our, we got our 14 tagged up. I think uh, 22, then 30. So we just need 8 from another track. Easy enough. I've relinquished that, so I might as well put it to the one beside it. Got a lot of empties in the yard right now. Still got more coming in, see? Um, so, once again, we just want eight more. Two, and three, and four. Six, seven, eight, and that's it. So we got our eight loads, 46 empty. So out of two tracks, that can be switched to build the next uh, WSB train going out. So just taking a look, see what that I got. I can delete that now as a note. Okay, so with that uh, build complete, now you can go ahead and register it up. So submit another response if you're already in there. ZSBDWSP9. I'm typing it out, and I must have missed it on one of the typing. If you don't type it exactly, then it will auto show. But uh, normally, if you type, if your typing's accuracy and you type it letter for letter it will actually show up in, in the train field so that's fine uh, set it to build we want the cajon sub next our arrival location you can type it in or you can just search it from it goes from top to bottom all the way from one side of the sub to the other um, da, 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 da. let's see here not the NSF bus cold room CP San Bernardino is good enough. It's technically not right at it, but whatever. And hit submit. Go to your sheet. 
And as you can see, it's changing to build, and there it is. So it went from standby to build. You're all set. That basically signifies uh, to other crews that there is cars in a yard to build that train. Uh, you don't even need a form response or anything like that. Uh, that's good to go. As long as they're tagged, you're done. And that's uh, as simple as that. But I uh, just wanted to highlight the, uh, the actual tagging process, that little trick with uh, holding on to W while you click on the cars. It makes it so much easier to... Uh, when you're tagging multiple cars, especially with the new the intermodal terminals coming possibly in version 2. Um, it might be quicker and quicker, or need to be quicker and quicker with AI. Um, so you want to be as quick as you can, or be as efficient as you can. So just a little trick. Uh, I'll talk to you next time.